the states tournament we're running. So states. So you guys don't have to be here to commentate it, but we're gonna stream it anyway. We're all set. Yes, you can. Because I like you, Bobby. Yeah, as long as you're good with the wires, you're good. All right, guys, we are back, getting ready for the finals match. It's uh, me, Trevor. It's Rosty, Trevor, and Scott. It's uh, going to be three out of five. Three out of five. And RST. both these players did not Rosty, know. Rosty, Scott, Trevor. RST. RST. RTS, whatever. Either way. We're not sitting in that order, though. So I know. That's RST. Wh that's why. David's playing the tellers. Yobani's been playing Shadol. Y'all have two, seen like, them on the features. These are the two, like, underdog decks. All right. Uh, yeah the tournament like they they had great showings mm -hmm. but this it's not what was expected to win really this is the first time burning abyss isn't going to win an ARG for a, in a while yeah yeah that's, that's big definitely. man that's that huge shows the format even yeah. when it's set in stone can still evolve and then uh, it's interesting to note Yobani's one loss in Swiss was actually to Stellars Ooh. really yeah oh wow was it David no oh it was you it was oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> it was Rastislav yeah, this is better for you, it's better uh, for you to yeah yeah yeah, I, yeah right you can do that one better I don't know better. I can look at it. Hopefully you can read it. <laughs> uh, uh, right. Decipher it. <laughs> Thank you to David for typing up his deck list. Makes it really easy to read. Maybe I'll make something like that. And then um, Yobani. the deck list with our logo on it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be snaky. Yobani has been opting to go first um, for a while now. He, uh, Someone's he math. math. It's, it's good to go first and use something math. Yeah, right. one of the best openers for a Shadal deck. Uh, interesting to note, he is using 44 cards in his Shadal deck. I cannot get over that. <laughs> just can't. just 44. Right. Honestly, I like it because it makes it so you draw the monsters less, so they're right. more, there's more in the deck for your fusions. Yeah, yeah, stuff. I understand it. Absolutely. <laughs> That's why I play 50 card Shadals with three upstart goblins. And then we're in the finals, man. We've got that finals vibe. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's, this is, if he has a fusion, this is a strong opening. Oh, yeah, it's a strong opening. See, I just want to point out, if Yobani went second, I think the game was... Over. Yeah. This is what he did to me, game one, when I played him. Teller is, you know, has a lot of back rows and stuff. Um, David Alphas. actually only opened an Oasis as his one oh, back row. Dang. Oh, dang. Well. Yeah. The one Oasis he plays. It just makes... In hindsight, yeah. Oh, man, if he went second, he won the match. Or he won the right, game. Yeah. Right, yeah. Honestly, Yobani's second turn is going to be really strong because he's not... David's not going to really be able to set up anything. But yeah, Stellars can't really. He has like Vega. Well, he has Rota with Deneb, but yeah. I mean, look at his field. Those oh, serious threats. Yeah. He's got he the gets Falco back, hand. draws a card. Yep, Falco. Right. Yeah, this is like a dream, <laughs> dream opening, man. Right. It's like, like yeah. Foolish, Foolish. burial. <laughs> so More combo somebody's cards. gonna send a Squamata in core next turn, maybe even this turn. Oh, he used Squamata to send. Oh, he hedge. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right. Well, he Dang. he begins the game with seven cards. If I was yeah. David, I'd be like, geez, like, right. what's next? Going first and ending with seven cards is great. All right. Multiple monsters on board and back row. Why not, right? Just come in with a black dragon, put more monsters on the board, really put the pressure on. Did he have on. another Elshadol? And he draws. I think he did. That might be a three. thing. So David's hand consists of Deneb, Altar, Duality, MST, and Oasis. Summon to Neb. He has Rota in his hand, right? Yes, he does. I guess there really isn't a rank four. I mean, Exiton. Exiton, but Knight. Yeah, actually, I would make Exiton. You, you have to. You need to. He's not. He doesn't have a regular Shadal fusion either, and he knows that. So that's good. But he opted not to. Yeah. Too late now. Right. Um. Okay. Guess he's sitting up for next turn. That's probably not gonna <laughs> not gonna happen. I don't like that because now he knows a card. Now he can't knows set it. another card that yeah. He can't set it as a bluff. I mean, he already has both monsters that he needs. I guess it thins your deck from drawing a monster, but I don't know if that gives you more utility than having it set as a bluff. Yeah, you know, things I could agree. go wrong along the way. Like you could start your play, and then it gets like warning or something. Right. Yeah. 
We're saying like don't even use Rota. That's what I'm saying yeah. too. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then you Rota later for yeah, you, yeah, right. The, absolutely. The piece of the puzzle you don't yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. We're all on the same page here. Yeah. The uh, same. The uh, same. Uh, David, uh, the same uh, David page. <laughs> Not Scott. So he has three monsters. Well, now he's he can't fishing special. for fishing yeah. for defensive trap cards. That's yep. another that, that, card that he knows now. Yep. See, that's what I was trying to say about duality. Like, I think a Vega play would have been better, but I think he needed to duality for traps. Yeah. Yep. Or at least he should have. I feel like a Vega play for like Excitement was the best play. Yeah. I wonder if he's gonna crash into. He also could like set not. the duality and set the Rota's bluffs to like make it look like he's strong. Right. Oh yeah, like if Exon set three looks yeah. great. Well. In David's defense, he doesn't know what Yobani's face downs are. He could have chained the, an El Shadal fusion yeah, to, uh, to right. summoning yeah. with Vega, like, for, for all you know, and Winda, and then he would have just had two monsters that he couldn't do anything with. Oh. So you're 3 0? 2 0? 2 0, nice. Max Reynolds, 2 0 in the side of it. Uh-oh. Yobani's trying to play for keeps. He's going in. Never mind. I thought he synchroed. <laughs> oh, it's, Yeah, it's, I was it's, like, it's he's going for Goyo. Is it David's was this a, the end phase? Yeah, probably. Be yeah, that was his face down. So, I mean, it's still correct to go for the X-Ton. Right, yeah. yeah. If he's got yeah. the win or not. Right. Like, it just could kind of... Yeah. I agree. You have to go for it. And an enemy oh, control. Oh, that might have been one of the more solid openings we've seen all day. That's like a completely solid opening. Right. Only a five card combo. It's like a brick wall right there. I don't think Yobani knows brick. <laughs> or at least not this game. Uh, huh? Oh, so you can't fusion it. All right. Okay. Trying to survive, I'd assume. Right. I guess uh, I didn't see the compulse in David's hand. Well, at this so point, he has Oasis and Call set. Yep. And Yobani pretty much knows that one of them's Call. Yep. It's a fair guess. Oh, well. That's a thing. That's why he was doing, why he was playing his cards. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Did he draw the first turn? He must have drawn the first turn. Probably. He. I don't think he drew it this turn. I think I saw it in his, like, or I didn't see it, is what I'm saying, his uh, opening hand. He, he definitely had the Foolish, so that leaves him with one card. So I just don't think he would set the Econ. Oh, you're Deku right. In his hand. Like, oh, man, he did draw it. Your body thinking about what the special. Yeah, because he only started playing card. Well, he played the El Shadal on his opponent's turn, I believe. Yes. And then but once he drew, he saw that he had to play the Econ. Yep. They have a fusion. Oh, I oh. hate when he does that. <laughs> I hate That's that. That's a sling. We might, we're gonna see that at least one more time. <laughs> Unfortunately, we might see it like four times. <laughs> Up to yeah. What David does is between each game, he shakes his opponent's hand. At least he's done it in the past. I think it, he does it every time he loses. All right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're gonna play ads. We'll come back. We'll discuss the side. Be right back.
I'm putting you on, Trevor, all right? Yeah. And we're back. Both they just posted pairings. Done siding game ones. Okay. It'll be interesting to see. We've got five games to figure out what they're going to side, so. Yeah. It'll be interesting to, like, see their side deck cards first. All right. Um, well, I know the Stellar deck, so I'll give you guys some maybe possible what he's doing. Okay, so uh, David is siding. Well, uh, you guys can look at his side. Um, he's going to side in three Shadow Mirrors for sure. Probably a Soul Drain, possibly a Dimensional Fissure, and then I don't think he's going to side in Max C's, but I usually do. Against because, it all? Yeah, because I, I don't have worse card. I don't have better cards. Like, MSTs aren't exactly very good. Okay, true. All right, guys, I got a treat for you. All you uh, non-subscribers, if you refresh right now, you'll be able to access the source quality. So you'll be able to get the highest quality just for the finals, though. If you enjoy it, please... Think about subscribing. If not, hope you enjoy our quality. Blow up. Storm is the one. Are you playing your clippers, right? So he's got he dualities. He reveals soul drain or soul charge. I didn't see what he picked up. He immediately flopped it into his hand. Yeah. You go second instead of you go second right. No, no, you go first because I have so many traps. Like I have so many MSCs. Yeah, we'll turn subscriber mode off. So what does that do? Uh, oh, the makes typing or whatever? So non-subscribers can chat. So there's like a better resolution if you're a subscriber? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. Yep, it's higher quality. That's cool. All right, no Deneb. No Deneb for David. Who's thinking, thinking, thinking. Is there someone's the altar here? Do we see anything else he has? Um, no. Nope. He does go up to 9,000. Uh, someone in the chat made a good point. Why would you upstart before you duality? Uh, to see what you get, so you can duality I mean, for oh the no. five card hand you have. Wait, or the four card hand. Maybe you I have. did that backwards. He dualityed before he upstart. Okay, that's, that's that's just not right. That I agree with what you were saying. And Rossi's coming in now. All right, I'm back, guys. He's no, coming he, in hot. Sorry, uh, he activated duality before he activated upstart. Yeah. Goblin. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm trying that's to find a reason why he would do that. I just think it's incorrect all the uh, time. It, it's you want to see, you want to know all your options before. Like if you draw Deneb, you exactly right. you would you would summon Deneb. You don't want to guess what you're gonna draw. See all your options, really. I wonder if um David's gonna overlay. That's what I'm curious about. Because he has um I guess Deneb in hand. He has to. Or, uh, he just drew it actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. He drew a card off Alpha. He had no cards. Oh, convenient. What was the um, Alpha? Was it like an Altair yeah. or a big? Okay, cool. cool. So, when asked who's commentating, would you guys like to introduce yourselves? I'm Ross Dale Kuhn, and I'm with Scott Page. What's up, guys? I'm Trevor Tibbetts. Flips and emptiness. Giovanni Chains emptiness. He. Wow. Alpha. Okay. All right. Um, he doesn't really have a response. Yeah, there's so zero odds in his main or something. Let's so. pay the, the cost. The Vegas effect will still go off, correct? Yes. Yep. And he can't respond to it anymore. Yep. Basically, yeah. And, yeah. Did he play a second upstart? I think I missed that. That's someone, a good card. Uh, Shadow Mirror's someone. a good card. I didn't see a second. When yeah. I came in, there were no more. Okay. He's got two alphas gone, right? Someone yes. Someone in the chat said something about drawing into another upstart. So his Shadow Mirror... He drew Shadow Mirror off Alpha. Is less, less protected because two of his Deneb's are gone, or not Deneb's, sorry, Alphas are gone. And then um, Trevor should be coming. Trevor should be coming down next yeah, turn. Yeah, I should. I'm gonna come down on him. Yeah. David hasn't been really liking Trevor. He hasn't made it too much. I, I don't know what I did to him to upset him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. It's because I got the last cheesecake. Oh, he's he salty about that? Cheesecake factory, yep. Yeah. And That'll do that, it. I would be bad at you, Before that, too. I took the last plate of spaghetti and meatballs at the Cheesecake Factory from him. He didn't like that. It's a good draw. What? So it's not looking so good. David, you have a Vega in your Yo graveyard, Bonnie. buddy. David, you have <laughs> a Vega in your graveyard. Relax, he's got this. Uh, he should summon it and just do as much damage as possible, right? Especially with no defensive yeah. traps. And then make Trevor and Recycle. But again, Trevor. I think he just forgot about it because he added. Oh, I don't know. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he added Vega just now. Maybe he's yeah. an anti-recycler. He like takes things out of the recycling bin and throws them in the <laughs> trash. Like bin. I think the main strategy against Shadals in BA, you just want to make Diamond as quick as possible. Yeah, I that agree. is why the deck is so high right now. 
Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> why didn't Jeff Jones play this ARG? He didn't come. Yeah. Probably busy. That's probably a good reason why he didn't play. He just wasn't here. Yeah. <laughs> he could pay his money to enter, but that's the reason uh, Molly much. didn't play. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's There's the reason uh, the, the masked man didn't play. Uh, Joe G. Orlando. All, all these players. There's a bottom. That's actually like the worst card for him to have. Oh, never mind. I didn't see Elshadol. Nah, never mind. <laughs> it's not. Um, that's a card, though. Let's mm -hmm. let him maybe have him target with Dragon first. Also, this gives you a but. Oh, he only has one card. Yeah. I was gonna say if he has multiple cards and he uses the Shadow Mirror now, right? It gives it would give him multiple options of what he just wants to discard and not mm -hmm. use to save other. But cards. But see, like now he can just Dragon to target the other back row and chain MST if he has it. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I'm with yeah. you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like if he waited after the Shadow Mirror, he would um, be able to target the potentially the Shadow Mirror. Right. No, and Yobani would have to if he had more cards. Is what I'm saying. Right. So right. It doesn't right. really matter. I can't figure out how to like put it into words right now. We've been casting a lot these past two days. <laughs> it's been a long two days for me, every round. Except for round one, but still. This is our 15th round we're casting together, Scott. So. Yeah, we're pretty great. Hopefully, I haven't been too bad this week, and maybe the chat can give me some constructive criticism. Scott's doing his best. I thought I I've been with him a couple rounds. Well. I think he's doing great. Appreciate that. Didn't feel like playing this this weekend. The format is not, you know, as I would like. Definitely. It's just stale to me. That's the only word. I mean, I'm sure it's a good format. If I sat and played it and liked it, I'd yep. be I'd be playing. I definitely agree. It's the same decks. But Even uh, Satellar Knight's like a new deck because <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that in is the top yeah. three. Yep. But it's still an old deck. I still like watching Yu-Gi-Oh. I love talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, so. Yep. All right. I think David was playing a little too passive earlier last turn. He could have made the Trivia, right? And then he could have made, made Trivia and summoned Altair yeah. that turn. Really? Okay, wait. That was his play then. Yeah, that, that sounds just like a ridiculous play. Right. Why wouldn't he? I mean, I, I, he's just playing really, like, conservatively. I don't know if it's correct, but you know he's not like he's but like in, he's still in a really like, good position. Some people like it's they have a play style and right. they don't change gears. Yeah. It's like it's not wrong, but it's not like the optimal? probably it's like it's when there's multiple plays that you can make, and unless you were to play that situation a thousand times, you won't really know which one is the right. better one. It's one of those gray areas, I'd say. Yeah, where x amount of players will say it's right, x amount will say no. Yeah, it can go both ways. I know this word is hated in the community, but it's player preference. <laughs> <laughs> I run Trihorn Dragon in my deck because it's a player, player preference. preference. <laughs> <laughs> it works for me. It might not work for you. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I top all my locals. <laughs> oh. Okay, now he has an extra deck card on his board. Was that in response to the Castell? Yes, it was. He's got Shadow Man. Definitely, definitely good play. This is the first time we've seen an extra deck card on his board. interesting. I think so. He's either trying to play as hard as he can around it or he just couldn't do I mean, it. I, st I would have summoned Trevor right then to recycle Call and Shadow Mirror. Not necessarily Shadow Mirror, just Call. Like it's going to bounce back both, but you recycle Call. And then you summon Altar and make Delteros. Summon Vega, all their good effects. Did he get back El Shadal or did he get back Shadal Fusion? I think he got back Cor He got El Shadal. He definitely has an El Shadal. Okay. So David's got serious because, options um, here. He sent Core, remember? Okay. So I don't know what he had. I think he'd add back Core because I don't think he has another target. Yeah, Core El Shadal in his hand. Another enemy controller? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He just doesn't want to get triggered. He didn't use Altera this turn, did he? he no. He, he did didn't. not use Altera? No, he went um, Vega into Unuk. Okay.
And then David knows both cards in his hand, so. Was there damage? Yeah, there was. There was. Okay. Emerald? Okay. Yeah, sure. Get another card to your disposal. Absolutely. Also recycle some of the things you need back in your deck. Mm-hmm. It's three to Nevin's graveyard. Right. I think you should recycle. Which isn't a bad thing. I'd probably keep put one a Vega. Back. Yeah, I'd put one back. I'd keep an Altair in the grave. Just yeah, one, I would though. keep Altair. Ve I'd put Altair Vega into Nev back. Right. Oh, I'd actually put Unuk back, and I'd keep Vega in the grave. Unless yeah. he's only. Well, there's using two one. Vegas in the graveyard. I oh, think, is there two? I think. Okay. I I thought there was one. If there's two, then he should absolutely put it. No, there's one. Okay. Yeah. So the other's Unuk. The okay, that, 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 that yeah. works. That one. All right, I got life points. I uh, I was turning off the recording on the third, fourth place match. So David's sitting pretty right now. Oh, is the is the third and fourth place match over? Yep. Do we know who got it or? I didn't ask. Oh, okay. I saw that the table was empty. All right. Did you recall? So he's got another space typhoon. So. This game looks pretty good for David, huh? Yeah. The only thing he's. He can shut off fusion from the deck if he draws shut off fusion, but their effects will activate. I don't still have a big guy. I don't think the evil swarm player won in top four. He's oh. he, he's not looking happy. That's oh, he drew BLS. Always a card. Yeah. It's not bad. Is Emerald eighteen? <laughs> Emerald's eighteen. And his back rows are Shadow Mirror, so he's just got zero out to that black Luster soldier. Oh, he's got call, 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 call. Did he not? Oh, he doesn't even he have a card in his hand. I guess he knows he plays Dimensional Prison. Right. I mean. It, Okay. There's no reason. Like, if he can kill it, he can kill it. He wins if he can kill it. Okay, call. he can kill it. Because he put back Altairs. Yeah, because he put back the Altairs, yeah. Right. Now he just makes um, Deltaros. Or he can make a second cast out, but he added Altair, so he's going to use the effect. Oh, he can actually just ba add back... Um, no, Trevor? Trevor, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think terror. he does. He have another light for the BLS. I no, mean, he has no monsters in his graveyard. Exactly. He would probably. Oh no, he has a construct, but it's not no darks. In okay. The he would probably just win outright anyway. I think. Yeah. The Bonnie's trying to use core as soon as he can. Again, click on the trigger. Throwing it down. Yeah. Um, your body's only using one core, but that card is it loves <laughs> him. He loves that card, dude. Right. Can't let it go. Yobani, oh, David sided into anti-spell fragrances. Whoa. Yobani quickly plays That's that core down. Tech. So you just make uh, Trevor. I feel like anti-spell fragrance isn't that great against this deck. Oh, like well he just sets the fusion and then just fusions you the next turn. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, no, no, David absolutely should be making Trevor. Yeah, because he'll just he knows attack the game. Oh, well, there's an El Shadal set, so the Construct is going to send um, Falco, but e even then, it's just not going to... No, there's just no way to win if he makes Trevor. Yeah, Trevor seems like your favorite card. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like it's like the right. best card in the deck for sure. Yeah, it, it's the one you always just want to make. Like, yes, two calls. Like, yeah, it's just no reason not right. to do it. It doesn't even target. Yeah. Like Trevor's. It's good, but it's Diamond is where, where yeah. it's at. Tre Trevor's like in out to all those rogue decks that have random things that like can't be targeted, can't be destroyed. Oh, that's true. Noble Knights. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad nobody uses Noble Knights, so it doesn't ever come I, out. I'm, I'm glad they don't use Noble Knights. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. I don't want to have to read a, I have a no, paragraph. They've been out for like two cards. years. I've never read one in my life. All the right. only one I know what it does is the Trevor guy. guy. He summons Trevor, first time. What's up? I'm here. <laughs> I was summoned. <laughs> so Trevor comes down. He called you, Trevor. Hey. He gave me a ring. I was like, yo. He's at 16? Yes. He has to send Falco here. Well, the chain's resolving, guys. Let's. Oh, they're trying to figure out how it's going to work. I guess so, yeah. So Construct will go back. They're, I think they're trying to figure out if it'll trigger or not. It won't it'll, be on it'll the field. Happen. It'll happen. Yeah. Actually, will it happen? It won't be the on chain? the field when it has to activate. Yeah. Right. It won't, it, oh, it won't resolve right. where it activated. I don't know if that's right or not. That's like the. I think they're telling your body right now. It won't. It, it won't, won't activate work. it. 
It's like the MST on call yeah. for yeah, the web it's thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. Cool. Your body shows him a third, a second El Shell. I was right on a ruling. <laughs> Stop the press. <laughs> All right. Quick ads between games two and three. We'll be back in a minute. They came in hot. They started playing fast. They're going right in here. No way. Because I think that guy's playing your map. I, I just want you to like scroll by and tell him if it's yours. Hang on real quick. Because I asked him where he's got it and he's like, oh, it's a Scott, peace out for a second. Uh, okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I've Scott's, been in Scott's sorting out something. Right, and then I've just been informed that the third place finisher is on dress with BA, meaning Evil Swarm's got fourth. So Dang. there's that. Well, BA versus Evil Swarm, uh, that's not exactly right. But I, I don't think it's exactly awful. They can't like get yeah. over. The I mean, they can. The stop is Virgil. Right, but they also can't like their Dantes don't kill Ophion, which is irritating. No, but you can make. Uh, Lots of other things. So, first turn, just summons Lila. He milled. White Dragon, Mind Control, it looks and, like. Uh, and that's all I'm back. Uh, what did I miss Solana. here? What did I miss? David has just the darkest one. of holes. That I don't like in this matchup. Yeah, me neither. That, that's all. a Falco face down, I assume. Because yeah, it is. He it is. dark holed it and nothing happened. <laughs> That's um, or it's just an invincible dragon or something. David, like, David's taking a trip to Brick City this game. The card that hurts you so much is Winda. So like, yeah, brick, brick, brick I feel like signing else to Winda would be better than having Dark Hole in your deck. I absolutely agree. Oh, David should MST. Does he have any fusions? On activation though, not in risk. Um, <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 Your body's like, oh, oh right, right. Yeah, yeah, sure, Just sure. Look sure. at his face here. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. He's yeah. bad. <laughs> 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 it's pretty funny. He's like, oh, you were gonna do that. 
It's like, what? Oh! <laughs> oh, goodness! Everybody's like, yeah, screwed up, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, might as well play it. <laughs> he knows it's there. It's right, it's not, yeah. Pew! Did pew. he hit alpha? He did hit alpha. Hey. Huh? What's the other set? The Compulsory. You Compulse. I also oh. thought it was Compulse. He, plays he drew Snatch. Plant. Is that Snatch? He can go Snatch, Puppet Plant, make, make a ring for He's a Puppet Plant? <laughs> Dang. Why would he sign Puppet Plant? Take any, Diamond. Any reason? There, there oh wait, does he do have an extra deck monster to get like around Diamond to overlay something onto it? Is he running M7? He doesn't run Is M7 Diamond or Gaia. Diamond's a warrior? He, no, it's a worm actually. Oh, it's a oh, worm. Yeah, yeah I, I, it's a worm. Can't pop a plant that. Oh, uh, he summons Danko, Danko activates Squiddy, uh, Raigeki. Yeah, so that's Upstart. 17. I knew that was going to happen <laughs> because we were talking about the upstart duality earlier. Right. I was oh. like, it's going to be like a blast from the past. That was a good card. Unu Unu Unukai, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah Unukai. I call it ukulele. So right. That's what it looks I like. I call it Unuk. Yeah, that's correct. Kind of like an Eskimo. Send a nab. Yeah, so, yeah. Get the train going. Gives you a lot more good draws, too. Right. Makes Call the Hunt. Yobani only has one card in hand? Yep. Yobani's like, I was hoping that Danko would get there. Good luck. He's like, how could it's someone never, get never over that my 1,700 on. attack monster? Yeah. Yep. What if he has Honest, though? <laughs> That'd be nasty. <laughs> That'd be hot. Unfortunately, so he doesn't draws. run that Ooh, card. Oh, math. he just drew math. That's All a right. Good card. He's got math, and uh, what exactly can that do for him? Uh, it can get him a draw, he or got some two draws, I mean. or Falco. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, but there's no beast in there. I mean, he has puppet plant, so. There's Squamata. It kills the Squamata. Or Squamata kills. Right, the guy. right. A little slow, but you know it'll get yeah. there in the long run. I feel like that was one of the upper echelon cards you could draw. He's turning into me and dropping all his cards. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. Mom, spaghetti. Is that Falco? Actually, wouldn't you just send Hedgehog out of Dragon and hope he doesn't draw a monster? Yeah, 1900 yeah. beater. Yeah. Right, and Is you get a draw off math. Does uh, Yobani play Dark Armed? No. Okay. But he's been Otakang all day. I was thinking he might go like Squamata, Hedgehog, and then like pray for the <laughs> oh for the three darts. <laughs> the dad off the top. No, I think you're right. Hedgehog for Dragon yeah, is probably definitely. the best move. Because that'll give him three cards. And Next then turn. if he draws Altair or Rota, you know, the Trevor's going to... The face down's call? No, no. No. Wait, maybe. I mean... No, it's cards. Compulse. Compulse, that's right. Compulse. Give him four cards next go. turn, so... Right. Give him the opportunity. And that makes his fusion better because he's got a dragon in his hand if he decides to fusion. Oh, he just crashed on uh, his own. That's not uh, good. That's no. not good. No, no. He was going to draw regardless. Absolutely not. Can't really do anything this turn. 300 extra damage. Yeah. Actually, He four? takes 18 oh, 18 damage. total instead of 300, yeah. So yeah. 15 extra. Bow. That's just unnecessary damage you shouldn't be taking. Your boy, Yabani. Need your hedge. That's actually a good draw. I think it's two. Is that he gets two puppet plants? To, yeah, or no? two puppet plants. He gets, oh. Mm, probably would you, would you puppet plant now? No. Set the hedgehog. Wait, didn't he uh, summon math this turn? No, no, that was no, last that was They last passed. Oh. He yeah. already drew a card. Da there was damage taken, by the way. Oh. Three, 318. I don't know if you got the 318. I didn't see the 18. Oh, oh he drew a call. Okay. Jeez. That was fast, I Th guess. This I leaves him, like, it. victim to all the power plays. At least. Like, setting Hedgehog gives an opportunity to fight back. And it gives him a better opportunity if he makes an Exceed monster. But if he sees the Hedgehog, he's not going to make an Exceed. But regardless, this deck like revolves around Fusion. Now he, j <clears throat> now he just summons Trevor. And he drew Rhoda. Don't. Well, actually, that's fine. I that's feel like fine. Rhoda's a pretty good card. Yeah, that. It should not be a three. That's for sure. I agree. Yep. I feel like certain cards can be at one or three at different points in time. You just got to look at the format and uh, figure out how much of an impact three will be versus one or something like that. Yeah, it looks like these guys just came from the woods, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Are they on our favorite show? On uh, Not these guys. Was it guys. on the History Channel? What is this? 
<laughs> oh, it's our favorite show. It's like uh, no, show. it's on the Weather Channel. That's right. Oh, the Weather Channel. Okay. Uh, Scott, if you haven't seen it, I recommend seeing it. It's it's great. Search for a show about rednecks on the Weather Channel. That's a lot of monsters. That's some serious damage. Oh lord. Oh, yeah, that's right. just game. Yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. your body salty. Right. <laughs> it, it didn't matter regardless what he did, but he would have gotten. Oh. So David Page is up. Uh, guys, there's three. It's three out of five. Uh, people uh, think it's finals. Right. Uh, David Page is up two to one. And then, just a little fun fact: whoever has gotten to two every time in the finals that somebody's won two times, they've went on to win the match. So whoever got the two wins first has always won the match. Really. Every time, that. yeah. I'm going to go for the last round of ads, hopefully, so we'll be right back quick. All right. These guys are so fast, they don't give us time. Yobani, um, well, Yobani didn't open very well again. Setting two going first is not good in Shadol. Right, and he's not even playing artifacts, so they're not doing much. And it's weird, like, sometimes, this is weird, at least this is how I felt sometimes. Summoning, opening with Unulakai is sometimes better than Deneb. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He has the famous duality we've seen. Like, if you open, like, Deneb, Altair, and you open... Yeah, if you open Deneb Ukulele, it's better than opening Deneb Altair because then you can search like Vega. So you have Vega Altair for yeah. your next turn. And that's what happened. Yep. He's got Altair in his hand. Adds the darkest of holes. They got Dark Hole. Yep. With a card, again, that I don't think is that great against this he's, deck. He's uh, siding just one, guys, so he's got one in his deck. And a Raigeki, if he kept it in. Well, Dark Hole's in his deck. I'd, I'd assume, right, I'd assume I'd he assume would. Raigeki's in his yeah. deck, too. Oh, okay. He sets the Dark Hole. No it? attack? Uh, he, wow, okay, that's good. He um, had to do it, did he? He, he, he did attack. Okay, he, he had to there's attack. no reason for him not to. I just didn't see any, like, motion. Yeah, or, like, we points, didn't either. So. Decree's good. He's only got one trap. Oh, but he's but got no monster. Oh, there's the space. He could draw. <laughs> Living on a dream. Living the dream. I mean, he has uh, Deneb Ooh. in the grave. Did he have altar? He did have altar. Okay. Yeah. He's just going for a power play, going I guess. For as much damage as possible. And the guy's got no monsters. He's it, on a one-turn clock if, if these two techs go oh, through. Oh, no, 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 no. David has call set. So what he's going to do, he's going to attack, attack, oh, attack MST Decree, call Wait. Vega, summon I think it's game. Summon I think it's game without it's space. It's going to be game with space. Oh, because of, oh, because oh, of the Decree. Okay, 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 okay. Is that going to be a dank series play? <laughs> yeah, it might be. So call the Vega. I've seen MST top decked a lot today. It's a good card. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Yobani looks like he's accepting his defeat here. Okay, he's doing it a bit early, but that's okay. Can you think of any reason why he should just space and then call? Another one? Yep, that's exactly why right there. He should call? Yep. Okay. No, it's the same thing, right? But that way... Or he could no, space and call? But Yobani would chain it instantly because he'd think that he'd have more traps. Okay, cool. Yeah. He so. should definitely be chaining it instantly, so that way he saves call. He can't do that, I don't think. Um, no, he can't do that. He no, cannot? I'll, I'll get him. He, he attempted to special summon. It's the attempt that matters. Even if it was negated, it's like it's creep? like warning. Okay, cool. I'm pretty sure. I'm just making sure. All right, yeah, Tre wow, Trevor was speedy up there. Trevor sprinted over there. Yes, that was speedy. Trevor sprinted over there to make sure everything was working. Yeah. 
Uh, two one, David. David Your boy Yobani. Oh yeah. yeah. So I'm. Um, was I right? I was pretty sure I'm right. He can't do out yet. Okay. okay cool. I was right, guys. We were all right. The head judge is there. He's. I don't know what they're doing with it, but they're fixing right. it, I guess. I was. I was commenting that. Yeah. We got it, guys. All right. So um, Yobani's really low on life, really quick. And he draws math. Okay. All right. Okay. Locks it down. Looks like he's got like fusions, babies. He has three cards in hand, so I think he got four. See, the most inconvenient part for um, David no, is that three. he's at twenty-six. Three. So, even if he dark holes and summons Altair, Giovanni's gonna be at nine hundred, not eight hundred. It's unfortunate, your boy. Ca oh, Cowboy might just come. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Every time I tap Trevor, he's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like. <laughs> I freak out. I'm not trying to hurt you. Me. Yeah, the cowboy could be super relevant. No, he's gonna be at a hundred. That's why the nine hundred was like, ah. Yeah. Unless he has an all monster hand. Unless he didn't attack that first okay. turn. Okay, now he can play. Now he's gonna go. I'm pretty sure assuming. he attacked. There's like no yeah. reason to not to. I mean. A fusion. Oh, he does have a fusion. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Yobani is in this game. That decree is you know, put in work. Right. This is, he's not even worried about any response. Oh, um, he actually only decides two decree. He just happened to draw them both. Okay. Yeah. It's duality. He knew. He flipped it. Oh, right. Right. I guess the trap card is you know, locked out. They reverted He it. knows it's Dark Hole because the one card in his hand is Altair. Oh, that's true. Mistakes. He knows it's Dark Hole. Mistakes are made. Or at least there was a point where it, he only had a monster in his hand. Right. Yep. Actually, no. He hasn't searched. No, he hasn't searched his deck for an Altair. Oh, did he? Oh, so, you're right. He yeah. Hasn't. So he could think that the other oh. card's a trap card. It's not. Oh, that's fair. Okay. So that's sure, fair. Sure, no sure, mistake. Sure, sure. Yeah. Right. But he could assume he has right. a monster off of the uh, right. Vega play he was trying to make. And he drew MST. So I, if I were you, Bonnie, I would just MST now. Like decrees on board, I would just MST right. now. For this exact situation, right, it, it could, could be, be the dark hole. hole. Oh, my, oh, oh, wow! But it might be over. <laughs> it yeah. might be over before it started. And I counted Yobani he drew, out of this he just one. He beast. He drew that off beast. No, no, he had BLS. Okay. That's why his hand oh, was so true. bricky. Oh, yeah. This so is... Oops, we're not summoning that. There's no light. There is no light. Free information. <laughs> Some tech. Like he, really, he really should have MST the back row. He can still do it. You never know. Right, right. So 3,000, so 12, 42. To not get booked, okay. 1,015, is that game? Probably not. Uh, he's a little short, I think. Yeah. Uh, 13 left, apparently. I'll redo my math, just to make sure. Thanks, series time. Oh. Did you wrote a... Trevor. Oh. He's Trevor. got Dark Hole. He can just Dark Hole game him, right? Oh, yeah, that's Dark Hole game. Yep. 2,900. It looks like we're looking at a, a new champion. Okay, Vega. He should know absolutely that that set is Dark Hole yep. now. Yes. Okay, you know it. You have to MST now. And this is why David should have Dark Hole first. Yeah. It's too late reason. now. Well, yeah. David didn't. I don't think Yobani realized it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that, that's a gift. The spaghetti. Yep. And David... David knows. Twelve, and seventeen. Yep. And we have a new champion. Yeah, D David's like, do you want me to use effect? No, come on. Oh, no, he scared. asked him. Okay. The guy like, said, to use effect? "Play." Congratulations. There we go. David Page. David Page takes it. Your ARG Dallas Fort Worth champion. Nice win. And as always, the two person who got the two wins first yep. has again once again. There we won. go. It, it holds true. Congrats to him. Congrats, yeah. man. These things aren't easy to win. There was a handshake. A handshake. <laughs> Dave, David loves the handshake. I got you. Don't worry, David. The hero. <laughs> so, else, the Teller Knights takes the tournament.
So you made the right choice, Rusty. So Teller Knights take the tournament. Yeah, but it wasn't my Teller Knights. There were no Kajito Kajis in there. <laughs> Kajito Kaji? Siding <laughs> <laughs> Dark Hole. <laughs>